Hello, welcome to Totally Dazzled. I'm Susie Lee with Bellalina Boutique. Come on in. I started, because I wasn't sure if I was gonna be able to do this, I started this hat. It's a cowgirl hat. It's got two holes in it. Um, but this is a leaf that I started to burn, but I thought, ah, I better stop. I better stop and show you all some of the particulars about making a hat like this. I, it's a cutaway. It's a cutaway uh, in that, you know, you go in and you, with a really good scissor, or if you have a an exacto uh, knife, a blade like this, a box cutter kind of thing, be very careful, but um, you can go in and just whittle away at it, just so that it has a little bit of something, something on the side, okay? These hats come, um, I don't remember if this was a Walmart hat that I got, or a Hobby Lobby hat. That's how they come with one of these um, one of these on it, and that's fine. These are cute just like they are, but you know us. <laughs> we can't just have that now, can we? So what we're gonna do is we're gonna bling this to the nines, we're gonna make it beautiful. We have a wood burning tool. You don't want this real hot. <laughs> anyway, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go in here and I'm just gonna give it some lines. This particular hat, um, it burns darker than the uh, white hat. The white hat burns a lot lighter. All I'm gonna do, just like a leaf would have, I'm just gonna go in and create some, some texture inside this leaf with Um, so, okay, see how there's two little holes in there now? So that's what we have, this little leaf. We're gonna make this a fall hat, a fall-ish hat. We're gonna attach, I've got this, now a couple of my hats had this on it and I, I take this off because I put my own stuff on it. I wanna do my own thing. So I take this off, but I keep it because, um, you know, you can, you can reuse it. So all you're gonna do is you are going to just thread it through. This is like um, probably faux leather. I don't know, maybe it is leather. Could be pleather, could be leather, I don't know. Um, but it's just a real thin, like mm, eighth of an inch maybe, something like that. All right, so we've got it threaded through. And what I have over here is some pretty little leaves, like um, little, um, oh, you get these at Hobby Lobby in the jewelry section. Um, they're just all different colors and I'm going to put, I think I like this, um, I like the teal. I like, I like teal with, um, this country, this country stuff. Um, and you have to watch how you put them on because they come with a little, with a little ring on them so you can hang them off of a, of a necklace or bracelet or whatever you like. Um, I'm going to use this kind of a, mm, I think I'll use the black. I'm gonna use a black. All right, so then all I'm gonna do, so at the top of that, that leaf that we wood burned, we've got these cute little charms hanging, hanging down. Now you can tie it in a bow, you can tie it in a knot, however you would like to do yours. I'm just gonna knot it just like that. And of course, I'm gonna cut it off, just kind of leave it. It's looking fallish already. All right, so there's that. I'm making sure that I'm finding the back of the hat. The back of the hat is always where your tag is, right? And so, okay, so this is, what is this you guys are saying? This is, I, I can hear you. I can hear you all saying it. You said, Susie, what is that? Well, let me tell you. It is uh, a bandana I got from Hobby Lobby. I got them on sale. In case, you, in case you're wondering, you take a little slit like this and rip. So what I did was I took two of them because they were short to go around the whole hat. And I just took some fabric tack and I tacked them together, okay? So what I want to make sure is I'm going to put it uh, with fabric tack around the hat. But what I want to make sure of is that the, t the ends meet over here because I've got something that's going to go over this end. Anyway, we're gonna take this fabric tack. Let's start over here. 
by the leaf, okay? And I'm gonna just start, um, and I'm gonna go all the way around it. You can just tie it here, okay? You just tie it, and then you can hang charms off of it or whatever you want. Um, that would be really cute, just just like that. I like it with the phrase and the all the, I don't like it perfect. All right, so I am going to cut it. Okay, so it looks just like this. All right, now I have this. Now this came off of a cream colored hat that I either got from Hobby Lobby or from um, um, Walmart. And what I'm gonna do with this is I'm gonna wrap it around a couple times. Yeah, start. Uh -huh. Starting back, and I'm gonna wrap it around like this. Okay, now you can see some of the glue, so you gotta be careful the way you lay it. See, it was glued down onto a different hat, so what I'm gonna do is I'm going to make sure that that glue is not being seen. You know, tied in a knot, just like that. Simple, 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 right? I'm gonna take a little hot glue even and just put a little dab on there. So it's looking cute already and fancy, right? You can wear it just like this, right? Cute, right? Anyway, all right, but that's not what we're, that's not what we're about. We're about the bling, right? We are about the bling. All right, um, what I've done is I've taken um, this gorgeous, totally dazzled um, applique. Look at this. It's one of the smaller ones, one of the little shorter ones, okay? And all I did was I took a totally dazzled heart in, uh, in the rose gold, and it matches it, and I have married it with E6000. I did that earlier, so I wouldn't be fussing with it so much. That's going to go there. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to do uh, right over top of the 3M sticker and almost to the end. And all along the edge, put some hot glue. Looking pretty, eh? Isn't that sweet already? Now you could wear it just like this and you'd be happy with it, right? This is the, the black lace that I have, okay? And I was thinking, I was thinking, it would look really, really pretty going from here, just around the edge. If I can get it, and I'm gonna do this with the hot glue. Little by little, I'm gonna go around this edge and give it some detail. Okay, this is gonna get a little bit of bling. So we're making it really very fall-ish. So what I'm gonna do here, and I'm not gonna go all the way, I'm just gonna go part way around this. just made it really fancy that lace I, I think um, the black it's just the black it's so pretty all the way here like I said you're not gonna see this part so I'm not even worried that it's not meeting so that's what we got this far is it looking very oh I don't know it's it's cowgirlish right look at this gorgeous mum that I got from Hobby Lobby. You can get these for like, they're like $6.99, one on a stem, you can get them half off. And that's what I did, I got mine half off. All right, here we go. This is a really super duper hot glue. <laughs> it is a super duper thick um, flour, so you need a lot of hot glue. So this is what we got so far, look at that. Isn't that pretty? It's getting prettier by the minute, right? How cute is that? Ta-da! We got a ta-da. All right, so what I want to do with this is I want to give it a little bit of color. And these stones right here from Totally Dazzled um, uh, Rhinestone Applicator Kit, but I love, love, love the amber color. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go around here very quickly with 
um, my rhinestone applicator pen and I'm going to add some color. I'm also going to add um, some oval clear, oops, with my the clear ovals because I thought they looked like pumpkins. I don't even know which way I'm going to put them on here. B7000. I'm going to put some B7000 out. Uh, right in the middle of each of these pieces of lace, these little scallops. So much better. Where do we add the color to it? Where do we add the color? Oh my. That's not the one I'm doing. Okay, so I've got all the big ones on here. What I have here is these uh, SS10. They are the amber color, um, SS10 in the Totally Dazzled um, Rhinestone Applicator Kit. All right, I'm going to go ahead and start putting a pattern together. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to do three, three little blings around each of these ovals. Isn't that gorgeous? Look at that. Mm-hmm. Loving that. All right. All right, I'm going to put these back. Okay, here we go. I'm going to go over here. And I'm going to start kind of back over here. You know what I should do is I should do the word in right in the middle. That's what I should do. That's what I'm going to do. Here we go. You just got to make sure your burning tool isn't too hot. So what I'm going to do over here, back here, um, is I'm going to put on these totally dazzled, gorgeous um, leaves at the back here. We're going to put one here and one here. Fall in love. How sweet is that? Okay, and as if that's not enough, right at the end here, we're going to take our wood burner and we're just going to take and make some, some little markings up here, just kind of... Um, we're gonna brown it up a little. Make it look cowgirlish, right? That's it. I mean, you could do hearts, you could do, you know, pretty much anything you want on here. Isn't that gorgeous? So there you go. This is, this is what you call a totally dazzled hat, right? I love it. So I hope you guys enjoyed this. I hope you learned something and had fun with it. Have a good one. Love you all. Bye-bye. Totally Dazzled sells sparkling rhinestone wedding supplies. Check us out at totallydazzled.com. But before you do, click up here and download our free printable sparkle quotes. Or click down here and watch one of our other awesome tutorials.